Well, hi ho my peeps. I'm, uh, I'm just sitting he out here on my porch, lovingly cleaning up, not refinishing, just cleaning up this desk that I, I'm going to say inherited, even though she didn't leave it to me specifically. My sweet and wonderful friend and fa extended family member, Jerry, after she passed away, this was one of the things left that the family didn't want. So I went ahead and I hauled it home and I figured that this would be a nice piece to, um, to use uh, as my command center. I don't really have a desk per se, so I think it's about time I have one in the house. I wanted to show you the top. It's got a leather top. It's beautifully constructed, 100% wood, um, probably from, I'm guessing the 50s. I'm not certain, but I think that's when it was from. And um, I'm loving it. I've already done the drawers, and they're in the house, waiting for this to be finished. I, I got to that side. You still see all the blemishes, but it kind of gives it just a distressed look. And I still need to get to this other side. So I'm going to flip this around and talk to you. Oh, incidentally, um, you can see that my hand is no longer bandaged. Um, I'm using it uh, to 90% of its, of its capacity right now. Um, tomorrow will be a full week since my surgery, but boy, I tell you, this thing healed fast. Now, anybody who doesn't like to see scars, stitches, look away because I'm going to show this to you. Okay, here we go. Um, man, see that? Well, come on. That's what you get when you have a plastic surgeon do your surgery. I mean, there's not even going to be a scar. He really did a beautiful job, both in dealing with the carpal tunnel as well as um, as well as uh, closing up the, the the incision. It's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, sitting out here, it's going to be about ninety something today probably close to 100 and i gotta put my glasses up and now i have to wipe the sweat out from underneath my eyes oh my god i tell you what i win the prize for authenticity don't i i mean i didn't even look in the mirror to see how bad the mustache was or or my hair it's like whatever dude pretend like you're sitting here with me on the front porch because because you are, in essence. <laughs> so anyhow, sit down here with Mallory. Um, I think I'm going to switch to my other hand. There we go. Um, and really enjoying uh, getting back to projects. Um, I have wanted to set up a, a place to pay my bills and to uh, file that year's paperwork before bundling it up at the end of the year blah blah so um so this desk is gonna is gonna do the job for me it's going to live in what would normally be a itty bitty tiny seven foot by seven foot dining alcove <laughs> that's in my house and i think that um i think that's the perfect place it's right in front of a window so I can set up my camera and talk to you from that vantage point. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this project. Um, I'm using the Howard's Restore a Finish. Sorry, I'm trying to hold this and talk at the same time, which looks like this. I'm using it in the dark oak. This is probably more of a walnut or, well, not walnut. It's probably more of like a cherry wood finish. Um, but I figured just for cleaning it up, it sort of didn't matter, you know, what color solids was going to deposit into this desk. I figured this would just be, um, a nice way to clean it, which it is. So, um, yeah, so my hand, uh, I would call it 90% ready to say we're back in business. 
Um, I have immediately noticed that it doesn't tingle when I throw th hold things. Um, it, I still have a little bit of numbness in my uh, thumb and my forefinger, but that it's probably been reduced by about 50% in just the past week since I had the surgery. My, it's really a contrast to my right hand, which needs to be done in about five weeks. And boy, I tell you, uh, I forgot what it felt like to have hands that feel normal. I mean, it really is amazing. So, there's something walking in my yard. Oh, it's a goat, for God's sake. My neighbor's goats come over and eat all my, uh, eat all my plants. Uh, they even, they even jumped into my front yard and were eating my roses. Oh, Grant put the kibosh on that immediately. Well, I'm going to show you the goat. Hey, goats, what are you guys doing over there? What are you doing? Are you eating my crepe myrtle branch that fell down in the storm? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. What are you doing in my yard? Goat says, anything I dang well please. Actually, the goats don't bug me. In fact, they're sort of a blessing because in addition to eating up bushes and trees from the ground, which makes a nice trim, um, they also have been eating our uh, weeds that we weren't able to weed eat because they never dried out. Here we are, Central California, arid as heck desert, and I have weeds that did not dry up this summer. That's, that is unheard of. So they're enjoying the, um, the little extra food, and that's cool. Um, so yeah, so hands going good, uh, projects are beginning to be done again, um, quinceanera, quinceanera is coming along great, we did another cake testing yesterday, and I think we've chosen our bakery, I'm not positive, but I think we have, um, in contrast to the other bakery that we, uh, that we, tr um, uh, tested, tasted, this one uses, uh, all fresh ingredients, butter, you know, um, powdered sugar, cocoa, flour, you know, all of that. They don't use stuff that comes in tubs. And that was the problem with the other bakery is their stuff had a, it was, it tasted bland and then it had an artificial aftertaste that was just unacceptable. I mean, if you were going to spend $700 to $1,000 on a cake, you, that, that cake needs to be perfect. So anyhow, I did well with my cake tasting because they, the baker brought us three um, uh, three half cupcakes. So we each had a cup a cupcake and a half on our plate. I ate one half of each half cupcake. So what is that? Three quarters of a cupcake. So I did I did pretty good. I did very well to push away the extra sugar taste what I needed to taste, enjoy what I tasted, and now it's over. So, uh, that's good. Um, we're still trying to figure out the rentals for uh, the tables and stuff. We, again, we think we found a, a vendor that we really like, but the guy only has six-foot tables, and a six-foot table with eight people around it is a little cramped. So, we're trying to convince them to go to round tables, because that will that way we'll be able to get an easy eight people around it, maybe nine or ten, and um, and rent fewer tables. Plus, it'll make the decorations more um, pleasing to the eye because you'll be we'll be able to do center decorations instead of trying to deal with a long table that's got a smallish decoration in the center, then trying to fill it out on either side with other other things. Um, I know where this is just um, attention to minute detail that probably doesn't even matter to Quinceanera girl or to her father, but on the other hand, I think it kind of does because this is his um, only daughter, his second to youngest child, and he has been wanting to do her Quinceanera since she was born. So 
I'm taking on the responsibility and with along with my neighbor to do the absolute best job we can given the budget. So, yeah. Oh, and we also did manage to convince them to change the venue from Sunday to Saturday. Sunday is a bad day to do a big party like that, um, especially where a cake is concerned because bakeries just, they don't deliver on Sunday as a general rule. I suppose we could pay them a few extra hundred bucks and they would do it, but you know, generally no, they won't. And so, so we've changed it, or she has agreed to change it to Saturday. Yay! So that's going to make this whole thing a heck of a lot better. Plus, everyone will be able to stay stay later if they want to, whoop it up, hoop and holler, do whatever they want to do, and most people won't be going back to work the next day. So that really is going to just make it easier on everyone. It's not on her birthday, which is unfortunate, but she was gracious enough to allow us to change it for, you know, logistical reasons. So that's coming along. We're almost done making all of the flowers. We're not quite done yet, but when I do have the arrangements finished and ready to box up and store until December, um, I'll show you guys what we ended up coming up with. So, um, yeah. And that is about all that's happening to me today. So I just wanted to come on and say hi de ho and show you guys my hand. And uh, when I'm done putting my desk together and I have everything in the other room and it's all clean, I will do a desk reveal, office reveal. That's what I'll do, an office reveal. Hmm, I see you have discovered the roses on the fence. That's okay. You know, go ahead and trim those down. That, I'm fine with that. I don't want you on this side, but you can eat everything off of the other side. You're doing me a favor. Deadhead those roses, little goats. Talk to you guys later. Bye.